on a customer side are what we call uh, subdivided into parts. Previously, before the termination process, pagkakasama siya. It's only one entity. Now, uh, since we're living in the Philippines at the same time, if you would be trying to go sa market ng Philippines, you need to know what is really happening sa regulation market natin. So, I will discuss it with you first the Philippine electricity regulation, then how did it become deregulated. So, history of our Philippine power system. So, uh, please bear with me, this is more on uh, concepts or duties or ideas or news until uh, maybe uh, Tuesday next week. Then afterwards, we will go on with the number crunching or the analysis. Uh, we also need to remember that I would not be having any political view here, especially when we talk about the history of our power system. These are only based on facts or my opinion is only subject to myself. So any opinion that I mean here is based only on myself. So you just need to read news or articles just to validate all of those ideas further. Okay, so in the Philippines, uh, the Philippine electricity uh, system or the Philippine power system is divided into three parts. Namely, the generation, the transmission, and the distribution and sales. When we talk about generation, this consists of your NPC, the National Power Corporation, NPC dash IPPs. When we talk about NPC dash IPPs, this means um, bilateral contract with independent power producers. When you talk about independent power uh, producer, it means this could be owned by a certain percentage of a foreign investor or maybe local investor. Now, you just need to remember that even if this is owned by a foreign investor, until now, I think it's around 70 to 60 percent ownership should be from the Philippine uh, business platform. Let's say that's the reason why there are right now uh, a lot of foreign uh, people trying to marry Filipino uh, people uh, to be girl or boy or with, uh, whatever. But as long as you have that type of partnership, you would, uh, you would not own business. That's why there was a lot of uh, laws that is being suggested to, to allow 100% foreign ownership. Uh, we will not dwell uh, into the reason why it's still being contested. Then we have also other IPPs. The difference with the other IPPs is that this one is directly separated or has no bilateral contract with the IPPs. Now, the next part which is the transmission. This is considered all the assets, including the transmission lines, the substations, and whatever you got from our generation going to the distribution plan. Uh, for this case, during this time, the National Power Corporation has sold ownership. Lastly, we have the distribution and sales, wherein this talks about your 190 electric power waves, 70 private when you talk about this one, this is simply like Carango, Patelco, Patele, uh, Dabao Line, Palawan uh, Electric Operating, and so on and so forth. So, uh, the difference between each of this one is electric operating. Uh, if you have already, if you have an idea regarding business, cooperating means it would be owned by majority of the uh, customers. It's like uh, association of customers where they, they would be the one financing the upgrade in the distribution side. Usually electric cooperatives are the ones that has the lowest innovation when it comes into improvement of distribution systems. Uh, private distribution utilities are the likes of those who are owned by private ownership such as Marato. And local government units from the government side are owned by the local government of that specified area. So that is the Philippine electricity regulation during that time. 
are allowed. Or even if you, let's say your ROI is very low, you still need to serve. But the good thing about this one is that in the way of your since usually, hindi ka naman gagawa ng electricity price na break even. May margin niya. Palagi ka na sa rin. We have also regular calling oversight. It means they, they have what we call a prescribed or a standard of breaking in business practice. So if you want to build a distribution of building or create a during that time, you are you need to follow certain guidelines or rules. You don't uh, if, even if you want to improve a certain technology, you should have uh, approval first of the regulators. This cost operation, so you are required to operate the lowest cost one. Meaning to say, you need to make sure that your operation has the lowest expenses. Hindi mo dapat in sa optimal or let's say sa best uh, of operation. Kailangan yung pinakamuro ng mga. You also need to define specific ways it should and should not be mass its operation. So, may guidelines na kung hanggang dito lang yun, hanggang dito lang yun, hindi mo pwede yung pangyong You also define how they need to use cost and prices. That includes revenue requirement, utilization, long-term view, comprehensive costing and only qualified expenses go in the rate phase. So, for that instance, you want to invest in research and development for that part. During that time, research and development is not included as a major expense for this month. So, those are the things you need to consider from the So, what are the good and bad Kaba, it establish a local company. Ang good doon, assure that it will not invest in it. It may be this recognition and may be support from local government. So, you think this recognition that is good, pero bad siya dahil limited support ka sa local government. So, it legitimize the electricity in the business. So, that's a good thing since government franchises and regulation imply that electricity so we can see from here that there is also good and bad but naka-regulated yung electricity market for price na and for the power market. So what are the reasons kung bakit naging ganito na or bakit ganito na yung electricity market na sa Pina? So here are the driving forces in favor of the regulation. Regulation is not necessary. The simple reason for that is the objective which is the foster development have been achieved. The reason why we have uh, regulated market previously is para mabilis yung uh, development ng buong country. Yun talaga yung rasunto. But now, based on what we have seen, hindi na necessary. Number two, electricity price may drop. Again, there is a word may drop. Because you have innovation and competition. So, hindi ka dahil natin na fix lang yung may hawak nito. Ngayon, dahil may ang malang innovation and competition ka, you have uh, reasons why other competitors would lower their prices. Siyempre, para sila kapitin. Or, we would see the improvement of renewable energies or yung mga lower generation costs. You have more customer focus here. So, ngayon, ayos yung may separate service hindi ka dahil dati, pag wala ka yung more forehead, nasa kami yung sila na wala silang magagawa dahil syempre, inaayos yung planta, etc. and so on. Or let's say, they need to operate in least maintenance cost rate. So, we have what we call the encouragement of innovation, reward these takers. So, how do you reward these takers? For example, a certain diesel power plant would try to innovate its uh, engine at uh, its uh, fuel uh, generating of the electric power. So, gagawa niya na parang filter yung mismo pipe ng ano niya para mas less yung pollution. So, what would happen? 
Siyempre, if you consider the environmental impact, you would choose this one compared to sa walang uh, filter. So there are new technologies and business approaches. And lastly, you augment right decision. It means you enhance value of assets as perceived by potential values. So, maagoy ka na kung dito na if ever, let's say, parang nalagungin na yung isang county, isang park, if that is the government, wala na sila magulagawa, pipilitin pa rin nila. Now, dito, you could sell it. And once you sell it, they guarantee the rate of return ka. And my So, we'll talk about the deregulation process. So, deregulation means changing the rules to permit competition in some areas. So, always we don't deregulate it as a rule. Because too much, uh, too much uh, changing of the rules would have also a bad effect. But too much democracy also would have a bad effect. Simple as that. So what we need is to change some rules para magkaroon ka ng competition. And these rules happen in what we call the open market sa so WSN or sa generation side and open market in the future sa distribution side. So yun yung ginagawa na or what to change. Then we have also deregulation. Um, deregulation is what we call the political process driven from top Uh, open intertwined privatization efforts. So, hindi naman nangyayari yan at the same time. Typically, it starts, for example, sa Luzon. Then, nasunod din yung Visayas, then 